Kenny, can you uh, take us through how the works go today? I know they kind of got split a little bit. How'd that go? Um, you know, I, I used the analogy earlier that's like calling a play and, and it didn't exactly unfold the way you wanted it to. He, uh, Corey's, well, Brian's horse birded away a little bit, was a little bit rank. And Corey was worried that if he chased him and hooked up with him, they were going to go too fast. So he just sat back off of him and, and uh, let the horses work separate, which is fine. In hindsight, it's fine. I mean, I wasn't real thrilled in the beginning, but, um, you know, I wanted him to go 48 and change, and that's what they did. It is a maintenance breeze for both horses. So uh, with Smile Happy, I mean, you have a horse that you know, won the Jockey Club over this track last year. Um, how is the plan going as far as getting him ready into this race this year? Well, I wanted the Derby to be third race off the layoff, and, and that's what it is. And, and um, his first two races are good, solid races. I mean, I think we were a little far back in the, in the race at Fairgrounds earlier in the winter, the Risen Star. And then um, in the bluegrass, he still got a little bit tired the last part of it because we pressed the pace. Um, you know, we're, we're spot on this time. I think third race is going to be his best, and and um, I think that he should have another really good race in him after that. So I'm liking to think that we could derby Preakness without much trouble. And where do you see him maybe sitting in a field like this with 20 horses? Um, I, th I think he's a horse you're just going to need to let run to the first turn and let it unfold. I don't think we need to be taken back like we did in the Risen Star. I think we need to let him run. He's got some tactical speed, but he's also good at negotiating traffic. So this is a horse that's going to handle that real well. And you've got, uh, he's run Happy's first Derby starter, you know, Mattress Mac, obviously all that excitement. Uh, any thoughts on how he'll handle the mile and a quarter? I don't think a mile and a quarter is going to be a problem at all. The way he's galloped, he's galloped up super strong every day and um you know i think i think it's right up his alley just talk about the work. Yeah, his work was great you know uh it didn't, didn't go just how kenny wanted he wanted us together but uh took the bomb kind of got strong down the back side and got a little too far in front of me and so he didn't want us to go too fast so i didn't didn't chase him to try to catch him i just tried to hit 48 with my horse and uh he worked fabulous i mean he's one of his better workouts he's had in the last couple of weeks he's moving great and uh Going, going good, you know, I'm getting excited. How do you make up the couple weeks on that? Right. Oh, uh, you know, uh, hopefully we have a better trip than them, maybe, or uh, or just getting better right now, my horse. Um, this is one of his better workouts, I think. And then the Risen Star, you know, I, you know, before I watched the replay, I thought I maybe had a chance to beat that horse if I'd have been a little closer and, and got out a little sooner. You know, then he came back to dominate in the next race, you know, and he looked pretty good there. So, uh, you know, I don't know if I was ever going to get close to him in the Risen Store. But uh, I felt like the distance would not be a problem for my horse after that race. And in the Bluegrass, I guess, you know, he just got a little tired. That track was, was tiring. And, uh, you know, because I was disappointed when he let that horse come and get him. I was going so easy. But uh, I think he's doing better than ever now. And um, I like our chances. Is it easy to forget that he's only raced? Four times. Yeah, you know, so, uh, and, he's, and he's had some stuff thrown at him. He's been between horses, you know, uh, he's, he's like a pro, you know, and knock on wood, he's really calm, you know, I don't think the crowd or anything will bother him. You know, he's, he's like an old professional. You'd swear he then ran 10 or 15 times. Corey, did you talk about a plan for the Derby where you might sit with this horse? That's perfect, bro. I'll go wire to wire. <laughs> but, uh, no, you know, we like I said, I hope we, hope we get a good clean break and, uh, you know, find good position going into the first turn, whether that be uh, first, second, or third, or fourth, or fifth. I would, I would like to not be farther back than fifth or sixth. You know, and hopefully work out a good trip, cleanest we can get. But um, you know, it's the Derby. You never know. If you had your brothers, would you prefer riding Tis the Bomb or Smile Happy, or even does it matter? I cannot tell you that Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really don't know. You know, uh, like I said, we work them together and. I can't really separate them. And then with Tis the Bomb, uh, you know, we've got a horse that his biggest races are over the synthetic track. He has one over the dirt track. What gives you confidence that he'll handle the dirt well? If you watch his maiden race at, at Ellis back last summer, he went 2347 mm -hmm. on the front end and kept going. And I do think that the pace of the Derby is going to be interesting for him. We're going to let him run to the first turn and uh, let it unfold. But if he can get what I'd call a, you know, a clean face trip, then then he's a horse that's gonna be dangerous. Um, if he has to negotiate a lot of traffic and find his way through, um, you know, tight holes and such, I think it's gonna be a little harder for him. But 
his last two races are he, he's going into a real confident and um, he's a legitimate you know contender he's got he's got talent and whether he handles the adversity is another deal and maybe a wider draw might even help him just to kind of stay out of I'm not somewhere. sure wider mm -hmm. I'm not sure wider I mean he could yeah you know, I'd be fine with the one hole or the 20 with him mm -hmm. um, but but we're gonna let him run early to swap places but when we got to the pole smile happy was a little further back than, than we thought he would be and uh i had to go on and i, I went on and i worked my horse like we need, like he needed to be worked and uh it was just it wasn't quite the work that kenny was looking for but it looked like both horses got what what they needed out of it when you're on him how do you feel like he's gripping this track versus the other seems to be getting over it well i mean you know he's he's worked in hand for the last three weeks now and uh I know he, he's done his better racing on the uh, synthetic and the turf, but at the same time, he did break his maiden by 14 on the dirt. So it's it's a big question on Saturday. You know, it's, we're questioning the dirt and, and the mile and a quarter, just like everyone else.